I believe in laughter. Having a good laugh has always been one of my goals for the day, because in my eyes, without laughter, a day without laughter is a day wasted. If you think there's nothing to laugh about one day, it's probably because you're ignoring it, you're too stressed and you need a break, or something funny hasn't happened yet, but most likely it will soon. There are a few things that I live by that stem from laughter. For example, I live by not being afraid of the unknown. Haunted houses use, mix, use fear to make them scary, but if you go into it laughing and you're just looking for a good time, you won't be scared at all. Rule one of laughter. Be kind to everyone you meet, and if you can, make them have a good laugh. The best way to meet someone new is sure to laugh with them. Even a little chuckle is enough to, um, for people to understand each other a little bit better. My last, um, my last year's baseball team was not very close at all with when the season started, even after about four months of winter practice. Early, very early into the season, we went to Cooperstown, New York, for, for the Dreams Park tournament. We all stayed together in bunk houses and had to be around each other all day for six days. It had, I had done it before the year before, so I was sort of used to it, but I saw how awkward it was for my teammates, so I did my best to make them laugh. The one that really brought each brought everyone together was when the coaches would go outside to discuss strategies for the game the next day. I would pull out my phone and read poorly written scary stories. After Cooperstown, the whole team was closer, and we occasionally hang out at each other's houses even after the season was over. Roll two of laughter. Don't be afraid of the unknown. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. This, in my mind, was one of the greatest quotes to ever be spoken because it shows how little there is to fear. Franklin D. Roosevelt was attributed with ending the Great Depression. He was able to do this by not being afraid of the unknown. Most of the time, when I'm scared of something, it's because I don't know anything about it or how I feel after it. Sometimes I won't go on roller coasters because of this. This summer, me and a couple friends went down to Cedar Point, and while we were there, we all wanted to go. They all wanted to go on the top third dragster. I had always been afraid of that one, so I let them go on without me. I immediately regretted it and wished I had gone with them. I had no reason to be scared, and the only thing I feared was fear itself. I used these two rules as guidelines for how I should live my life and act around other people. Even if I had a bad day, I tried to do my best to have a little bit of a laugh. I used laughter to not be afraid of the unknown and to be kind to everyone I meet. That is why I choose to believe in laughter.